for at a capacity as an individual, I believe Raila is taking me in the right direction. Because we, the supporters of Raila Morodinga, we are a people with a mission. And our mission is the end goal, and the end goal was to be in government. Mr. Speaker, for good students of Historia, they'll agree with me that in politics we have realists and idealists. As a good follower of Raila Molodinga, I am a realist. I believe in the end justify the means. I don't care about the procedure in getting into government. <laughs> I believe in being in the government. And how does the government benefit me as an individual and as a supporter of Raila Molodinga? <laughs> Number one, <laughs> if you check at Kenyan constitution, it talks about, it recognizes this country as a regional country and a country that has ethnic backgrounds. And for that reason, Raila has always championed for social justice. He has championed for social democracy. He has championed for empowerment. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, I would agree that Raila is taking us in the right direction because he has ensured there is the face of Kenya in this government today. Today I can celebrate that one man, John Mbadi, from Suba South, a minority in this country, is a cabinet secretary for finance. I can recognize the fact that, and, 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 and the lawyers around you, you you'll help me in this. Wetangu, not, not really Wetangula, but Oparanya, Wycliffe Ambetsa Oparanya, is a leader of this country. And if you look at this sub clan in Luya land, no. it is not a big clan. No. And the government, supported by Raila Amolo Odinga, no. the leader of Second Liberation, no. Aguambo, Tinga, Tiringini, Wood Mary. He has ensured that there is equity, there is balance, and there is all that Kenyans need at this position. Finally, Mr. Speaker, for the last one month or so, there has been chaos, there has been tension, and there has been quagmire in this country. But since Raila Molodinga said we need to go for dialogue, we need to have a broad-based government, there has been peace since Raila Molodinga stepped in government. And as a country for a stability of a country, for economy to grow, there must be peace. <laughs> Therefore, for those who don't love Raila Molodinga, for those who are saying Raila Molodinga is not taking us in the right direction, do you need peace or you need war? You need war. You need war. Very good. Remember, choices have consequences. Therefore, if we choose war, there are consequences of war. Finally, Mr. Speaker, I'm humble and may God bless you. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I am Victor.